Welcome to the rocket profile of the Atlas D Mercury launch vehicle, the rocket that put Zhang Lin into orbit. The Mercury launch vehicle is also sometimes known as the Atlas LV 3B or just the Mercury Atlas launch vehicle. It consists of one and a half stages, that is, all the engines are lit on the ground, but some of them are dumped along the way. This is similar to the space shuttle, except in this case, the Atlas D's three engines are fed from the same tank, whereas the shuttle dumps the entire solid booster systems. The two booster engines are LR89-NA-5s, burning kerosene and oxygen for 2 minutes and 14 seconds at a vacuum thrust of 758.7 kN each. The specific impulse at sea level for the boosters is 248 seconds, while in vacuum they get 282 seconds. Between the two booster engines is a sustainer engine, the LR105-NA-5 which pushes the payload all the way to orbit. It provides 366 kilonewtons with the same ratio of kerosene and oxygen as the boosters so that they can draw from the same tank. At sea level, it gets a specific impulse of only 215 seconds, but its ISP in vacuum is 311. It burns for 5 minutes and 35 seconds. The reason the Atlas was set up in this way was because it was an early rocket, the Atlas D had its first flight in 1959, and the designers weren't sure they had the capability to ignite stages in flight. In fact, this was the same reason the Soviet R-7 ignites all its engines on the ground, but when it stages the booster engines, it also staged the tanks for those engines. Both the early Atlas family and the early R-7 family got away with this by having a relatively low payload to orbit for a kerosene rocket. The Atlas D only manages 1.36 tons with a 116.1 ton rocket. Both rocket families extended the life of the rocket by adding upper stages. The Atlas got the Centaur stage, which was involved in the Atlas D family's final flight in 1983. The downsides to this arrangement are that the tank has to be very light, and that the astronaut experiences very high g-forces on his way to orbit especially close to the LR-105 shutdown. After all, the rocket has to make orbit in 5 minutes and 37 seconds. It has no way to throttle the LR-105, nor a way to relight it to coast to apoapsis. No crewed launch vehicle has ever gotten to orbit faster or more dangerously. On that note, thank you for watching this rocket profile of the Atlas D Mercury launch vehicle.